I did get hate mail, and uh, it was forwarded. Uh, I have no idea how I got it. It's from Vince Rock 950 at AOL.com. This is written in all caps. <laughs> First of all, how dare you try to make fun of the Calvo man when in fact, if you look as good as him, you would not criticize. <laughs> you should not hate on people that look 100 times better than you. Don't throw stones. Look in the mirror. We are very big fans of the Calvo man, and it's not nice to have haters spelled hatters <laughs> like you trying to make him look so bad. So I got that, and I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> I never got hate mail. So then I, I wrote a letter back. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, I'll just, I arrived, it was lengthy uh, because I was angry and was like, somebody sent me hate mail. Uh, and so I'll just give you some highlights. Uh, you know, I love the Mets. I love, I'm a New York Mets fan. I love Cowboy Man. Uh, you know, uh, I'm one of the biggest Cowbell fans. Whenever he graces my section at the game, he's a great addition to the atmosphere at Shea. As a matter of fact, Shea wouldn't be as great without him. Very nice. Now, I also said something like the above during my interview for the Mets Weekly Show, but they didn't put it in. It's not my fault. Blame the editors. I'm a comedian. They hired me to be funny on the show. I never once badmouthed Cowboyman. I did a little. Uh, <laughs> this is where I was getting rude. Keep in mind, sir, Vince Rock 950, that I am a comedian. They don't put nice things they say on TV. They put funny things. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings or feelings of Cowboyman. Please send my regards. And uh, then I got a response. And uh, we dropped the all caps, and now it's just all lowercase with no punctuation. No problem. You had send something, said something, about Trombone Man, and I felt really bad for Cowbell. We just refer to him as Cowbell Man. <laughs> because he is just there to amuse the crowd, and by you saying that it felt to me that he wears, W-A-R-E-S, the Cowboy Man shirt to get free tickets. If you knew what the hell he goes through to get tickets, you would reconsider that phrase. I am his sister, Aww. Vince Rock 950, and it made me feel really bad. <laughs> so Cowboy Man, like I feel bad in retrospect because you know Cowboy Man finally gets on TV, and you know who am I to make up Trombone Man? Yes. That was great. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. If I'm not mistaken, you cracked up the producer at that moment, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was it was a fun time in the studio. I was probably in there for like forty five minutes and just riffing on the Mets and making a mess of myself and, and all that. Yeah. Well, um, what are the chances that you might go back? Because like that was some pretty good stuff. Zero. What was it a one time? Yeah, well no, it wasn't I I did two things for the channel, but um the whole idea of the show has changed now, and the producer that I knew, I think got fired for doing a show like that one. That wasn't exactly like Met Highlights, it was like snarky comments. And yeah, Met's Brass didn't like it, so he's gone. So, mm. And he's the one who has my phone number. <laughs> so well, sports and comedy don't really make sense. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> well, sports and haters. That's right, or hatters. Or hatters. <laughs> okay. Man. I uh, I like that I like that you can love the Mets this much and yet still be the one person who's ridiculed the you know, yeah. Like well, I mean that's what, being, that's what being a Mets fan's all about. It's being you know it's it's you know you love the Mets so much that you can bash the Mets. Mm -hmm. It's like it's all right. Like if someone else bashes the Mets, it's like no, screw you. Can you curse? Yeah. Screw you. I, you'd <laughs> say to people, and screw you. And. Uh, you know, but if you're a Met fan, it's like, ah, the Mets are going to suck this year. I love you. You know, it's like, it's like for some reason that works. We're going to be miserable forever. Oh. Well, I'm depressed. <laughs> this year's still young. I mean, there's some pretty good. I, I don't want to get too far into the Mets, but like, uh, I think that they said there was going to be a, a poor rotation. Yet, can I make a prediction? Yes. World Series win. Who's with me? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to hear it first on April 17th <laughs> from <laughs> Bo and Man. <laughs> yeah. I thought that after you said that, because it's so funny, there was going to be someone showing up at the park with the trombone, or maybe four or five people. Yeah, just like, that's my gimmick. <laughs> How'd you get tickets? I love that. Uh, it may have been two years ago at this point. They had a slogan, the New York Mets. It was like, this year's the year or yeah. something like that. And it's just like, all right, you guys can use that once. And then when you don't win, if you don't win, well, that's it. What are you going to do? You can use it again the next year? Well, the thing with the slogans is they changed for like a couple years ago. It was, you got to believe. Yeah. As if like, it's my fault. <laughs> right? You know, 
like the next year, it's like, you didn't believe. That's why we lost Will Benziata. And it's like, why aren't you believing next year? And then it's, you know, our team, our time was last year. So, and it was wrong. <laughs> it was yeah. the Cardinals' turn. So it needs to be like just middle of the road, just sort of like, maybe? Yeah. Show up! Show up, Reagan! Like a lottery. Like, you, you, a dollar a dream. Or yeah, yeah. Like, you, know? you know, there's probably some other teams in the league that would probably be like, may, you never know. <laughs> Roll the die. Crazier things have happened. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so do you think, this is a, a question, I guess, sort of just for sports fans in general. Mm. Um, Shafiq, you can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Out of the sidecar. <laughs> and then you. <laughs> We're having fun. <laughs> uh, do you think that uh, having, you know, like rooting for them, like having fans out there helps them win? Uh, do I believe that? Sure. Is it true? You know, who knows? I like to believe that when I'm at the game, the Mets are like, he's here. Yeah. Let's win. Let's win it. <laughs> like, I really, I don't know, like, deep in my heart, I'm like, you know, I've been lucky with the last few games I've gone to. Uh -huh. It's like, you know, you have a feeling like, and if I stand up during this at bat, they'll hit a home run, because that's what happened last time, right? <laughs> right? You know, it's like, you, get, you know, you just get crazy, and you think it's all about me. <laughs> Apparently. Well, it does become a pretty. Uh, I get superstitious too. Like, mm -hmm. like when when I I was there for like a string of wins, and this is like two years ago, and that wasn't such a great season. I think there was uh, they were just hitting 500. I think, right. Right. Yeah. Um, and but then when when they would lose, because I kept going, went like nine games, and uh, when they lose, I'd be like, ah, my nemesis is here. Yeah. <laughs> going in it. Where is he? <laughs> So guy because in Mets games it does like bad luck things for the team yeah. to uh to It's the anti cowbell man. <laughs> <laughs>